can start later. We won't, I, um, uh, we won't, uh, you know, die because of it. And uh, no, we don't give a shirt. Right now I'm on my way to um, to the IRD um, place. I have to get my IRD number so I can uh, work in New Zealand. Uh, so I'm just going down there and it's starting to rain again. Actually yesterday it rained a lot. And you know, if it rains in New Zealand, it doesn't rain. Just like a little bit like we're used to in Germany. You know, it's, it, it rains like like it's a tsunami from above, you know, it's, it's really, really much water. So I'll just be heading down to the, to the IRD place right now. Um, what I forgot to tell you yesterday was um, we opened our bank accounts at ASB Bank and um, there was this guy named Krish Krishna, very funny name, I think, who, oh, god damn, it's loud right here. Ah, they were finishing up a billion right there. <clears throat> so, what I was about to tell you is um, there was this guy named Krish Krishna, and he, he did all our paperwork for the for the opening of the account. And um, we we had to load our own chosen pin number on our debit card, so we could choose. And there was a problem with my card. And uh, they were looking, what, what can it be? I don't know. Nobody knew what, what was going on. So, um, so after a while, they found out. So apparently, in New Zealand, you can't have a pin that's like one, two, three, four. Yeah. So I think it was my fault. But now, but now I have a secure pin. So. And yeah. By the way, funny thing about the street lights in New Zealand. The sound they make is, is very funny. It's like um, it's like a laser gun fired right before firing a machine gun. Um, I'll show you at the next street light. Memo to myself. Apparently, in New Zealand, it isn't just common that buses stop at every bus stop. No, you have to wave to the driver if you are at the bus stop or you have to click the stop sign in the bus if you want to get out. But I don't know the outer rim of Auckland, so how the hell should I know when I have to press stop? Because, you know, there, there isn't a sign that says next station burns ever. There's just the, the little hut and the bus stop which it says Burns Avenue, but when I see that, I'm already past the station. So how the hell should I know when to press stop? I don't know, I, I don't get it. I think you only can ride the bus here if you know the city very well. Um, so that's what confused me, and now I have to go back to the last bus stop to, to find my way to the IRD application station. <laughs> I still have to get used to checking the wrong way for cars when I cross the street. Safe. Yes! I made it! Awesome. So I can only use the elevator here. And I don't know if I can use this one since it seems to be broken. Shall I go in there and fear for my life or shall I wait for another one? I think I'll wait for another one. There it is. Yay! Got my IRD number. So I can work now. Just waiting for the bus. And since I'm just waiting around, I uh, wanted to say something about the people who work for, you know, like governmental things for example just the place where I got my IRD um, 
the people here are so much nicer than uh, the people who do the stuff back in Germany. Like in Germany, you always have to hurry and do everything absolutely accurate. And if there's one little mistake, everything just uh, everyone just goes nuts, you know. Um, and here, like, they have time to talk to you about your day, and um, nobody cares. People in line just smile because they have time, you know. They're not stressed at all, and um, that's very nice. And if you make a mistake, you know, uh, you're not. It, you're not given the feeling like you're a loser. Uh, no, they smile at you and say, "All right, do it again. It's okay. They don't care." So that's very, that's very relaxing. You know, and it, it puts you in a good mood. I think um, because they have a good, good mood, I get a good mood, and if I get a good mood, then I'm nice to people, and they get a good mood. So. That's a very nice circle, and I think we should start it in Germany too. I don't know. I like it. Still waiting for the bus. But you know, I think I, I, I don't. I don't really care that I'm waiting for the bus like for like 20 or 25 minutes. Although it should arrive every 10. Because if I'm late for my next appointment, you know, the people who, who are waiting for me just say, yeah man, alright, your bus was late, so what? We can start later. We won't, I, um, uh, we won't, uh, you know, die because of it. And, uh, no, we don't give a shirt. So, that's very nice, so I'm just waiting for the bus and I don't care. So this is an awful place. If a venue does something bad, they just kill it. They hang it and leave it tangling. So the other venues won't do anything bad. Many venues died here. Poor bastards. So, um, just meet my uh, roommate, one of my roommates. Namgu, right? Namgu. Namgu, Namgu. He's from South Korea. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, there's one thing I want to ask a South Korean gentleman. Do you know how to Gangnam Style? Gangnam Style, yeah. You, oh. you know how to do it? How to do it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You, you <laughs> don't know? Yeah. No, I, I, I can't do it. I, I, I actually can't do it either. This is a video? Yes. Just picture, no? That's, that's a video. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> so you're a big fan of Psy? Psy, okay. Yeah. I, I love him. <laughs> yeah. We are cooking ourselves a nice dinner. Very, very hard to make. Uh, it's called spaghetti with tomato sauce. Cooking is so interesting. I did something. How do you like it? Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Isn't it? Hey guys. Right now I'm brushing my teeth real quick and then I'm gotta go to sleep because tomorrow we'll be leaving Auckland we'll be going to Tauranga to um, get our first job that will be like cutting leaves um, at you know ki kiwi plants so me and Sasha and another guy from Travelworks from Germany will go with us to um, Tauranga and yeah, we'll be on a four hour bus ride. So see you tomorrow. Bye bye.